Hello everyone, today we're looking at one of these. Uh, now, to most people this probably doesn't mean much to you. Uh, this is an Alcatel. Um, I don't actually know the exact model of it because uh, this is one that Barclay Card uh, provided you with uh, on behalf of Cellnet. Um, if you guys don't know who Alcatel is, it's a French make of uh, cell phones. If you guys don't know who Barclay Card is, it's uh, the... It's one of the bigger credit card lender uh, companies um, in the UK uh, that trades. Uh, it's it's a, it's a, it's an arm of Barclays, Barclays Bank, basically. It's the credit card arm of or the credit card segment of, of Barclays, basically. And selling obviously doesn't exist anymore. It's rebranded O2 many years ago. So uh, quick, uh, quick um, phone Wikipedia sort of lesson for you. Um, so basically, um, back in the day, if you had a credit card with Barclay card um, and you spent a lot of money on it, they uh, invited you to get a cell phone from them. Uh, and this is basically one of their offerings. I think they had two or three different models. Uh, and this was uh, one of their offerings, basically. Uh, this is the original box um, as it came. Uh, this is a BC2 handset. Cellnet Barclay card BC2 handset. Um, and um, I, I never had one of these, even though back in the day I did actually at one point have a, a Barclay card for a short period of time. Um, but I ditched it uh, for something uh, uh, that uh, gave me a few more rewards. Uh, not naming any names. So, but uh, anyway, um, you got the battery. You got obviously um, a whole bunch of pamphlets and stuff. Uh, you got a welcome pack and some other price lists. And actually, let's have a look at a look at the price list really. So you had initial connection of thirty-five pounds, monthly subscription of seventeen fifty or twenty-five, and that just included five pounds or fifteen pounds worth of calls. And then your your peak and off peak. Uh, uh, call charges. Of course, uh, this is uh, at a time when uh, your 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 uh, line rental didn't include unlimited minutes like it, like it does nowadays. Pretty much, most people nowadays have unlimited calls and limited texts and like more data than you can uh, you can shake a stick at. Um, so, but um, to give you some idea, these were some of the call charges and services, um, and, and you, they gave you the um, the. Um, the, um, the 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 charges for actually looking at your your banking information. So charges per call, visa, balance, credit check, three p, one pence uh, off peak, uh, and, and this is just obviously to check your credit card and stuff. Uh, services, customer services is free. Helplines, yada yada yada. Uh, ain't going to dwell too much on this, but um, it was pretty expensive at the time. I thought um, I never got one of these because they wouldn't give me a phone. Um, how ironic, really, um, <laughs> nowadays that I've got over a thousand in my collection. But anyway, uh, you got a whole, a whole bunch of other pamphlets here. Um, not really sure what uh, getting started guide. What else you got? Accessories, uh, registration, change of details. Uh, we don't need any of that. And then you got obviously the manual, which is thick actually, given, given this. Um, so pretty colorful manual here, um, some diagrams, actually pretty comprehensive. Uh, this was a fairly feature packed phone. Um, Alcatel aren't a bad make as such. Uh, um, it's just that uh, the predominant market that they manufacture for is Africa and France because obviously they're French. Uh, and in Africa, most countries speak French. But anyway, uh, this is the original SIM card. This is what you got um, as, as part of the part of the deal. Uh, you got a, a charger, which is a, a quite a heavy, bulky transformer with the uh, connector. This is three pin, of course, because it's out of the UK. Um, and then, of course, you got the battery and you got the phone. Now, this is what the phone looks like. Uh, oh, there's another card in there. In fact, that's yeah, that that is my card actually. Um, so this is what the phone looks like. Um, it is pretty neat. Um, this isn't a bad phone as such. It is quite small. This would definitely fit in your shirt pocket. Got the pull-out antenna as well, which aims away from the head, so it's always good for the old radiation. Um, got the flashing LED there as well, um, Ericsson style. I um, don't know if you checked out the Ericsson's uh, last week I had lined up. Oh, incidentally, if you watched the Nokia 2010 video, I found another one. There it is. This is the one I used in the video with the cracked screen and the uh, the extended and uh, the extended uh, battery. Um, and then this is the other one I have, which is uh, also got the extended battery. 
I'm still missing one of them though, strangely. So, uh, but anyway, um, y y you're not seeing double, the, the, there's definitely two there. But anyway, um, I'm gonna try and power this up. I gave this a quick charge earlier. Um, I'm hoping the battery holds a little bit of charge. So this is what you got. In fact, no, let me quickly pause that and put this card in, because uh, I put the card in just to get a menu up. So this is full credit card. It slots in like so, uh, real old school this. Uh, none of that little mic uh, mini, mini or nano or micro SIM. Uh, that you get nowadays in in smartphones uh, you got you got um, Barclay card displayed and you got a whole bunch of emblems at the bottom of the screen I'm hoping this zooms uh, and focuses a lot better I'm actually using a a newer camera uh, so hopefully this um, this will uh, show up quite nicely um, the date on it is 1997 uh, God knows why um, I'm guessing that's the date which comes up when you first power the phone on. I've had it on charge for about half an hour, hence it's uh, 51 minutes past midnight. This has picked up service though. Um, the good thing about this is actually the battery's almost full, and this is the service meter up here. Um, real strange, but um, it, it does kind of work. Now, I'm not too sure what the menu on this is. I'm guessing this would be voicemail, this would be something else, and this would be no calls, missed calls or something. Okay, so how do you go back then? Uh, what is this? Bolt-ons. Oh, so this would be your memory. This would be your phone book. Because these are obviously stored on the SIM card. Um, voicemail, blah, blah, blah. Go back. So what is this then? Voicemail number. Oh, the voicemail number ain't stored on here. So that's a dedicated voicemail button. Uh, that's a um, memory function button, I guess. And this is any missed calls you have. So... Question, how the hell did you get into the menu of this? Oh, menu, there we go. So menu, keypad lock, appointment, time and date, uh, cost, last call, cumulative cost, reset to zero, uh, unit and currency, display credit, and that was pretty much it. To personalized vehicle option. I didn't think you could you could have this in the vehicle. Security operator keypad light, and we've gone back to back to back around the menu. So um, there's not much else I can show you really. Um, what does left do? Nope. What about right? Up. Up doesn't do anything, does it? Oh yes, it does. It changes the the emblems on here. So this is a bit like the Nokia 2110 actually, where the uh, the word down uh, above the button kind of displays what the button's doing. So. Um, what else we got? Menu. What does this button do? Call forward. No, I don't want call forward. Um, messages. Message this empty. Okay. Um, anything else? Calculator. Oh, that's nifty. Calculate how much money it was costing you to make a call on this phone. Um, what I don't see is... A dial, a dial button, a green and red button. How would you dial on this thing? Okay, so let's just do a test call. I guess this would be your dial button. Top up credit. Oh, it's recognized that as the the test the test number. But yeah, that's working. Okay, well, that's definitely working. Um, so I guess that's... What is that? Unsuccessful call hold. Oh, it won't call hold. What? Oh, I guess I ended the call with that button. I thought this was the button to end the call. Never mind. It does obviously work, and this is off the battery as well. So um, it's in a remarkable condition for a phone that's... Uh, that's quite old. Um, I think this, when did, I'm just trying to think when I actually had the Barclay card. I think this phone is gotta be from about 96, 97. Um, purely because um, I seem to recall having a card around about that sort of time. Um, and I know they were doing this and I actually had a friend that had one of these, not this very one. Um, I bought this retrospectively off some, off some guy. I don't know, but, um, but uh, certainly this is uh, quite a slick phone. Um, it was probably overkill at the time, 
but it, it still does work and it still does work very well. I'm, I'm actually impressed. This is GSM 900, so this will work pretty much everywhere outside of the Americas. So it won't work in Canada, it won't work in Northern America, it won't work in Central America, and it won't work in Southern America. Um, pretty much everywhere else it will work. The only snag is this is probably locked O2 or Cellnet. Uh, so getting these unlocked, uh, good luck. Uh, I, I don't know if that's even possible, but um, certainly this is uh, one of those rarer handsets you probably don't see very often. Uh, Alcatel, as a general rule of thumb, aren't too, um, aren't too um, common. I was trying to use it, look for a different word. Aren't too common outside of France. Um, but uh, certainly this, this you could still definitely use. It's slim. It's, it's not, not weighty at all. I don't know what the standby time on it is, but got a couple of volume buttons there as well. Um, what is that for? That's a good point. Does that just power on the power on the light? Um, maybe that's. Oh, it doesn't adjust anything. Car flooring number. No, no, I don't want that. Okay, well, that's all I can say about this particular one. It is a neat, real, a real neat handset actually. Um, I picked this up for about fifteen bucks, believe it or not. Uh, so um, well worth buying actually um, definitely worth it um, it's got obviously the, the full size sim and I don't know if you can actually get that out you probably can't but um, worth considering if you want something that's just GSM actually um, I should have included this in the uh, which brick would you have it's not really a brick as such but it's still a neat little phone uh, this kind of reminds me of the, um, the Motorola slim light phone because that's quite a slim phone with a great big StarTac battery at the top um, I haven't done a video about that phone yet. I will do soon. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's all I got to say about this one. Neat little phone. Um, it's still obviously got a fair amount of juice in the battery. So whoever had this obviously didn't use it much because uh, obviously the call charges were um, quite expensive. And, and the snag with this is if you signed up to this, you obviously had to have a Barclay card credit card. But um, they made you pay for the bill on your credit card. So basically, you had to use your credit card to pay for the bill to use the cell phone. And that was their way of encouraging you to spend and, and basically churn, churn your credit card. And also, if you signed up to the phone, you couldn't actually then get rid of the credit card because uh, you were signed up to a, year, a year's contract on the phone. And part of the contract was that actually you had to use your credit card to pay for the phone. And if you wanted to get rid of the credit card... You couldn't because you'd be in breach of the cell phone contract. A real, real sneaky way of doing things, really. Um, so, yeah, um, quite snidey at the time. Um, ingenious, if you ask me, in terms of, you know, what what they do. But uh, I'm guessing a lot of people probably didn't sign up to, to the cell phone just purely for that reason, really. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's all I got to say about this one. Uh, nice little quick video about uh, an Alcatel BC2 handset. This is probably a, a known as a different model elsewhere uh, in the world. Um, without the Barclay card label, obviously, if you if you do know what this is um, in terms of a normal non 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 bank badged up uh, cell phone, uh, drop me a comment. I would really appreciate that because I don't actually know what uh, what model Alcatel this is. So if you're in France, uh, say hello to me and, and and tell me what this what this Alcatel model is. Um, so that I, I'd really appreciate that. But anyway. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Give me a thumbs up as always if you like the phone of the video. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.